Hello, amigas, amigos, amigas. Back again with with which casket? Sent with love from the UK. Let's see if this box over or underwhelms me, or if it's just kind of a meh. It's fine, kind of. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, the thing fell out. So we have our regular stuff. We have our card. I like that. That's pretty. I mean, this is fun. I do like that. And then let's look at what we have for uh, Witch Casket Calming Magic, July 2024. So there's that. And then we usually have some artwork on the inside. Oh, that's cute. I do like this because it's very kind of, um, it's a, like a little gothy, goth light, as I say. And that's cute. That is cute. I like that. But I'm not going to look at the rest because they're spoilers. All right. So we have what looks like a little wooden wooden bowl kind of a thing and I think so I think this is for a card you'd put your card your oracle or your card that you pull for the day and then you could put some little things in there I'm tempted I have it's funny because I have a a it's I have a a box for a, to hang on your wall to put things in um, that I haven't hung yet and it's kind of the same wood and I'm tempted to paint these a different color because the wood is cute, but it's it's a little boring. But if I could paint it and actually put it somewhere else in the house, too. Anyways, that's always give us a stone. And this time they're giving us, looks like a worry stone, which I like. And it's, so let's open it up. Put that out. Gray Aventurine tomb, Thumb Stone. Okay, so they're calling it a Thumb Stone. Because you can, you put your thumb, you do the thumb, you can do the worry, I call it a worry stone because I, you can, it's like a fidget toy, basically. It is gray aventurine. I don't see any flash or anything. So here it is. Let's read about it. Gray aventurine helps with grounding stability and balance and promotes a sense of harmony and calm yeah so maybe i'll probably take this to work and just have it at work or you know when you're on a zoom meeting and bored and somebody's irritating you because they're talking too long in the zoom meeting you're like oh my god can we wrap this up just joking and then they send an enamel pin and they've been going with these metal kind of no color pins which is okay they're cute but then i like color and stuff too this is a little a little boring but i'm getting a good collection this is cute it has stars a teacup basically with the steam going up to a moon which is pretty i actually like this let's see we have a calming smelling salts oh that's interesting inhale the therapeutic fragrance to bring calm in times of stress can also be used as bath salts. An aromatic salt blend containing 100% Lang Lang, bergamot, and lavender oils. A time-tested anxiety blend from Deb's Family Book of Shadows. That's cute. Uh, so Deb and her daughter are the owners of Witch Casket. I don't know. I just, I just tore the box. Tore the box. Um, and they, I think Deb just wrote a book. So. I don't know if it's a book I'll want. I didn't really look into it that much. We'll see. So we've got our little little jar. It says Witch Casket Calming Smelling Salt. Hmm. Um, not quite for me. It smells was a little bit um bathroomy. It is just salts. It doesn't have any herbs in it. So maybe I'll use those for something else. Use the jar. The jar's cute. It's like a gray, little gray jar. Maybe that's a little bit blue. So it's a, it's a cute little jar, but the salts are a little not. Okay, so we have our scroll. They always send a scroll. I do like that they have been sending these little 
sometimes. So here we go. We have we have grounding, connecting yourself to the energies of the earth by grounding is a way of releasing negative energy and stress and can bring a sense of connection, calm, and focus. Here's a simple grounding technique. Okay, so it talks about grounding. I was sent grounding and centering spray from June Mermaid, which I like a lot. I'm gonna spray a little bit of that for us. But yeah, so it talks about grounding, that's interesting. And then they do have, they were not sending incense for a while. And now they are again because they had a problem with their vendor. I really like that there's a little bat on every one of these little, hopefully you can see the little bat. Bats are one of my favorite animals. So they were having an issue with finding a vendor who would use all natural ingredients. And it's not in a plastic bag. It smells good. It's violet and lang lang. I like violet a lot, but I think it's the lang lang that I'm not into like that much of it. Light the incense firm, calming energy surrounding me, ease my stress and anxiety, soothe my mind, set it free as I will it, so mode it be. So I'll probably save this for somebody um, because, well, a couple of reasons, not my favorite scent and also as I've said a million times before, I have asthma, so I only burn incense outside. Peace of mind fire bowl. Okay. So let's see what we have in here. I'll let you guys see first. What is that? What is that? Okay. Is this peace of mind fire bowl? Let's look and see. All right. So we have, oh, okay. So we have a little notepad. Let's see what that is. I rid myself of, it says. And then on the back, it has... Oh, that's cute. Okay. Okay. So I feel like it's something we're going to be using. So let's get this out. Let you guys see what we have. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That's really pretty. Pentacle and stars, basically. And then it's kind of, it must be cast iron on the inside. It's weighty. It's not bad. Yeah, that's cute. That's a cute one. Let's read the little, the little thing. Okay. Up, note down on a piece of paper what it is you'd like to be free of. This could be anything that is causing you stress or anxiety or something you feel the need to move on from. Fold the paper. Ensuring the, your bowl on a heat-proof surface that won't be damaged by the heat from the spell, add the paper to the bowl and burn it. As it burns, state the following. I command that you be gone. Bother me not from now on. Once the bowl and the ashes for, from the spell are cooled completely, you can carry them far from home and bury them. Flush them away or blow them away into the wind. Anything to symbolize they are far away. That's cool. I like it. That's cute. Okay, and then we have calming card deck. A gentle yet empowering deck to ease your daily stresses. Pull a card a day to bring clarity and perspective. That's cute. The cards. So far, I haven't really been impressed with their cards. They sent a few little decks, but they don't ever really call to me or like make me want to use them very often. So these are round, which hey, somebody gave me a round arrow deck and I never use it because it's kind of awkward for some reason. So let's see. We have you can ignore things. Choose what deserves your energy and let the rest fall away. If the noise in your head is too much, it's time to tune into a higher frequency. Ground, center, and connect yourself to the power of the universe, then nothing can phase you. A few moments of mind mindfulness can change your day. Give yourself that time. Drop your scattered thoughts, make a witch's brew, and drink mindfully. It's simple, but it's magic. That's like, I feel like those are things that you would 
pull a card from an Oracle deck, but it would be a lot more um, in depth. And these are kind of very basic. I think I'll probably keep these and pass them on to somebody else at some point and see if they want to use them. And none of the stuff that I, I want to get rid of is bad or um, or I don't like it. It's just things that I don't I won't use and I don't want to keep things around that I'm not because it clutters and I want to give people give it away if it if it's something that they will use. So we have one more thing and it's in this little bag that I freaking love because it has bats. It has three little bats all over it. That's oh, really cute. Let's see what's inside. Okay, there's a baggie with cotton. I wonder if this is a craft. So this is like cotton stuffing. I wonder if this is a craft thing. Oh, do I get to make a bat? Do I get to make a bat? Calming charm bat. You will need felt pieces, needle, thread, stuffing, chamomile. Oh, how cute. I get to make a bat. So this is, no, oh, this is probably, so it's got this little envelope. This is probably, I'm going to try to open this up so I can close it back up. Probably the chamomile, I would think. And let's see. Yes, that's the chamomile. Oh, I dropped these. Little bits of chamomile flowers. Swap out chamomile for something else because chamomile, the smell of chamomile can make me a little um, nauseous for some reason. I don't know. All right, and then we have our little bat. This is cute. So it already has the holes. So you can see, see the holes. So all you have to do really, it's a really easy project, is take the two pieces, sew them up, around the bottom or the top and leave yourself a little bit and then stuff it up and they send a needle and um your embroidery thread to do it so that's cute i i'll do this i might add to it maybe put some sequins on it or something fun like that because that's kind of basic as far as a project for me because i'm a little more advanced of a craft or sewer type person but that's a cute idea uh, I think this box is a good box especially for beginners or even like younger witches uh, people who are just kind of starting out or people who just you know don't have access to the salts and the incense and stuff in, in another store I have a lot of that stuff already so it's not super necessary. I appreciate it and excited for the fall stuff though. So yeah, that's it. And thank you for watching. Let me know what your opinions on the box are. Do you think, are you getting it? Um, do you think it's a good box? Do you think it's good for the value? It's not too expensive, but when we add on shipping to the US, it's like, I think it's around 50 bucks total that's from the UK. So that it's understandable too. If you're in the UK, it's kind of a great deal. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.